Welcome to Cardano FX, ladies and gentlemen. This is chapter number two of our new training. And now what we will be doing here is uh, we're going to talk about navigation and uh, preferences. Now, if you want to start from the beginning, remember this is uh, a, a, this is part of a series of movies that we have here. So if you want to start from the beginning, just go to our website or go to our YouTube channel and then you will find all the videos right there. And OK, let's start. Um, why we want to know how to navigate? Well, because you probably want to move this image or you probably want to move all these tools that you have in here. Probably, I'm, you know, I, if I uh, want you to do something, in, uh, if, if somebody wants you to tweak an image and somebody tells, uh, tells you, okay, go to the frame range of the read one and move that uh, parameter. So if, if you have uh, the knowledge of, if you know how to navigate, you will go and, okay, I will read the read node, the read one node, and then I will go and change the frame range. And right now, the frame, uh, the read one is right here, but sometimes it's not going to be here. Okay, so if I close this, now it's gone, right? So that's um, that's more or less what we're going to be doing here. So the first thing, let's move our viewport. How we move the, our viewport? Well, you have to, you you have different options. If you want, you can press Alt. And then pressing Alt, you can left click, and that way you can move the viewport. Okay, you, well, actually, not the viewport, you can move the image uh, or your, comp your composition, you can move it, you know, like that. You have this frame that allows you to see the size of your object or actually the, the bounding box of your object and where this object is uh, being placed. And that way you can move it. Okay, Alt, left click, move, move freely. Okay, you're free to move. Now, another thing you can do is if you take uh, the wheel in your three mouse, uh, in your mouse with three buttons, you have a wheel probably. So if you roll that uh, up, you can go closer. And if you roll down, you're going to be farther away. Okay, that's like zooming in or zooming out in, in, in your compositions. So that's actually pretty uh, cool. I really like it because, I mean, it's not just zooming. It's whatever, if you put your cursor right here in this little area, I can just go and I'm gonna go and look at that specific region of the, the composition. If I wanna go here, down here, just place my cursor there and that's where it's gonna take me. That, that's uh, really, I really like that. Now, another thing we can do is if you press Alt and then you right click and move, you're going to have the same kind of behavior where you can, uh, you know, if uh, you want, you can use uh, right click or left click. If you're uh, pressing Alt, that's going to be fine. That's good. You can do the same thing with uh, both uh, buttons. Now, if you don't press Alt, okay, everything changes here. So if you right, uh, left click, and drag without pressing Alt, just by using your mouse, you're gonna have this kind of selection, all right, where you can see that right now we are just clicking and dragging and we have some kind of rectangle going on. Well, don't worry. Right now we are not gonna use it. We're gonna use it probably later. But for now, I just want you to know that you can do that, okay? You can actually have a magic a rectangle going inside your viewport, which is amazing. <laughs> well. Now, another thing you can do is if you don't press Alt and you right click on your mouse, you're going to get another menu. OK, and this menu is going to show you a lot of different things, but it, it, it will depend of where are you pressing that button. OK, if I go to my properties panel and I right click on here, I'm going to get something different. I have select all or clear all. If I go down here in my node graph and I right click, you will see now I have a different type of menu and that's the thing you got to go and uh, sometimes if, if you know what you want to do you need to know that you can right click here or right click here and you're going to have different behavior different uh, options okay so in this case obviously all the options that I get in here because I am in my viewport have to do with the viewport if I click here all this uh, kind of uh, relates with the properties and right here with my node graph okay so that's uh, something pretty cool. Now let's move to our this other panel, okay, our node graph. And right here you can just click and move. You click on one of the tools because right now we have two different objects. We have the viewer and we have uh, a read object. And now these two are nodes, all right, but they have different shapes. They have this one is like a kind of a square. 
Now, for example, if I come here and I call something like, I don't know, something from uh, 3D, you're going to see that this is a cylinder and I have a different shape. And it all depends of um, different uh, nodes. They have different type of uh, uh, colors and different type of shapes. And they will show you sometimes things. They won't show you sometimes, thing, uh, sometimes things. But you can make them uh, look different too if you want to. But for now, let's keep all that, uh, all this simple. I just want you to see that we have different tools. And if you want to create a tool, all you need to do is go here. And if you know which one you want, you need to know how these tools are organized. For example, I know by this little icon that, for example, here I have my transformation tool. So I can come here and select my transform, my adjust and things like that so here I can see all the particles for example then I have a, in this other area I have all these uh, options for timing and that's why I have a, a, a time a timer here or a, a watch a clock and then I have the draw options right here and so everything is organized uh, nicely in this region and so after you have all these tools, you need to connect them, right? And you need to, to have tools that actually can be connected. For example, if I take this alpha, I can try and I can connect it to this one. And that's cool. I can take the cylinder and connect it to this one. No, I can't. Why? Because, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. You need to know which tool can be connected to another one and which one cannot. So in this case, the cylinder, let's try the cylinder to the viewer. Okay, yeah, we can do some, something like that. But now what is happening here? And as you can see, everything is changing in this region. I can go back and now we, I am in 3D mode, all right? So that's cool. That's another uh, another world. If you're used to 3D, uh, this is going to be uh, pretty easy for you. So I am in 3D mode and now I have uh, a 3D object inside there and this 3D object is because I'm using a cylinder from my 3D menu so this is another uh, 3D world and if you want to go back to 2D all you need to do is right here on the viewer go to 3D and change that to 2D okay and that's uh, it's that easy or just uh, press tab and you can change to 3D now this is happening because this type of object is 3D, it's a 3D object. So every time, you, you know, if Nuke is intelligent enough to know what is being connected. And that's why Nuke automatically changed the viewer for us. And okay, so if you want to navigate inside this 3D area, what you will do is just uh, press Alt and left click and left mouse button and you can move like that then you can use your will the same thing you can get closer or go back and then if you press alt and right click you can actually rotate all right but 3d world is uh, it's uh, right now we are not going to be focusing uh, we are not going to be paying too much attention to the 3d so i'm going to come back here and select 2d and now everything is off in this area it's black because the the same thing the cylinder so if i want to disconnect something from here i will take the arrow and then I just click and drag and I can take that and I can place it anywhere I want so I can take this and say you know what I'm gonna try to connect that to my read okay I can't well I'm gonna release it and now it's gone so I can take the one from the read one and I can try to come and connect that to my luminance and oh I can do that great so I can take my objects I can move them like that I can take the that uh, other object and when I move it you can see that the connection is moving along so I don't have to worry about uh, having distortions in, in, in this area now I can connect the luminance to the cylinder and now I have my cylinder and now you can see how everything is kind of being connected now right now I'm just gonna take the cylinder and I'm gonna remove it and now you have uh, a visual representation of this uh, other object and we are using uh, our keyer right here, this uh, keyer one luminance. And right now, obviously, it's not uh, doing much, but I'm going to take it. And if you want to remove a node, all you need to do is just select that node and press delete. And that way, it's going to be gone. Now, if it's gone, that means that we don't have to deal with uh, that node here and also we don't have to deal with that node in our properties now let's talk about the properties if you click in one of these objects in this case uh, the read node you can see that there's nothing inside my properties if I select the viewer I don't see anything but uh, why is that happening well because I 
I clicked I uh, I clicked uh, in the options I didn't want to see that so I switch it and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna call another read node so let's go here and I'm gonna select lab test fast I'm gonna open that so now you can see that I have this uh, other node and every time you select a node you're gonna have this type of object here now if you don't want to see it well, all the all these parameters if you don't want to see them just click on this one and it's gonna be gone all right so that's uh, that's cool now if you want to make it come back all you need to do is double click and that way you will have this information one more time ready for you to use another thing you can do is just minimize if you click on these little triangles you can minimize these uh, tools and that way you can uh, you know have more space in your properties and remember the right click yeah if you right click here you can select them all you can right click and you can clear them all and you have an, an empty and clean properties panel um, some other things you can do is actually se uh, select these objects you can come here and, and change the name of this one so I can say this is my lab and now I know uh, I have that name in inside this area another thing you can do here is if you pay attention here you have uh, in these two different images I have one object with one two three four different colors and here I have this image with only one two three which means that these tools are powerful enough to let me know how many channels I have in these uh, images or in these uh, files and as you can see here I know that I have an alpha channel here because I can see this uh, white area and that's how we kind of uh, you, how you can navigate inside new as you can see uh, another thing you can do here is uh, now if, if we are in the graph editor uh, I'm sorry I was uh, I didn't uh, t tell you that but for example here instead of uh, just selecting as you can see here the selection is actually gonna make a, a lot of sense because you can click drag and select one tool or you can click drag select both or three different tools and then you can move them all together and that's the, the cool thing about this uh, rectangle uh, the powerful rectangle that I was talking about uh, on top of, uh, in our viewer but um, we're gonna be using that also in our viewer but I'm gonna show you that later and another thing we can do here is I can right click and uh, I can call different tools with this other parameter with this other menu so for example as you can see if I click here I have the draw okay menu and all the tools that I have here in the draw I can actually get them from here or I can go here and select color and all the color files the 3d and same kind of thing all right all the tools that I have here in my uh, toolbar I can get them from here in um, it's more like n uh, with names and, and instead of uh, graphics um, another way of uh, calling these objects will be pressing tab if you press tab you're gonna get this kind of uh, text field and now if you know the name of your tools you can just come here and you know type the name and I can say merge and now I have my merge node I can just click and I have my merge object or my, my merge tool now the same thing you have the merge and then you have a lot of different options I and here well that's the the power of uh, all these tools inside Nuke we can work in you know we can specify what channels we want to use which ones we don't want and um, uh, all by you know kind of interactive tools that we have and we ha also have these menus where we can specify you know only RGB instead of coming and clicking uh, I mean it's just a matter of getting used to all these and knowing what all these uh, fields mean and right now in this uh, training we are not focused on uh, you know letting you know what uh, every single tool is going to do is more than anything just have a, a brief I I idea of description of how to work how to use all that and okay so another thing we can do is uh, I will say is if I want to connect the lab instead of the viewer well you can disconnect just by clicking you select that and then take this one and connect that straight to the to this other one or another thing you could do probably is uh, you can uh, take the just that object for example and then you can press one and that way you will get it like that you press uh, select the read one and press one and that way you can connect that now if you want you can take this one and press two and that way it will be connected to that or you can press one and then you will switch I mean you can select the object that you want to connect and then just press one or two or three and the viewer is going to have uh, 
you know different inputs i can come here and select another one uh, let's say fire hell windy come targa let's select this one doesn't matter this file and now i could select this one and i can click three now you can see how my viewer has three numbers i have one two two is empty i can connect that to my merge my merge is uh, is empty but that's the kind of thing you can do here inside this area now if you start to get uh, you know uh, um, if all these network because we're going to call this a network if you start to get a lot of different nodes and your network is starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger you're going to have this little icon here where you can actually have a, a small representation of all of your tools so you can see here you have that and then you can move selecting this little a pinky rectangle, the pink rectangle, you can move and navigate inside these areas and get an idea of what is going on. Alright, and then you can make it smaller if you want and that way, or you can just uh, scroll like that and, and then it will appear every anytime one of the nodes is outside of the, the graph, the node graph, you will get this reference. Okay, so that's um, another cool thing about this. And just the parameters, as you can see, you can, you, you're gonna have uh, to come, you're gonna have to come here and you, you, you want to change something inside here uh, we're gonna uh, you're gonna be clicking and switching opening menus and selecting files opening uh, windows and things like that but for now I think that's it now uh, I hope you ha you have an idea of how you can navigate inside nuke how you can kind of call different uh, objects and in this case well I didn't show you how to call these objects but just um, quick it will be uh, just type uh, tap uh, tap uh, excuse me tap <laughs> in your keyboard and then I will go and select the read node okay the, the word read and then press enter and then you can get uh, the object that you want and then you can click open and there we go now another way of calling that is just by pressing R okay R as read and that way you will get that and then you can select the object and that's cool now remember nuke is not a, a, an application for video editing so if you want to work with video that's fine I mean now nuke supports uh, some video formats but why would you do that okay try to stay with uh, images and well sequences and uh, because that's the way of um, of working with this uh, it's gonna make your life easier and now for now that's it I hope you have an idea uh, of how you can navigate inside Nuke and remember please subscribe to our channel uh, if you like the video just click on the like it doesn't matter you know uh, if you probably are just watching this uh, for fun and uh, you want uh, you don't want to to see the rest of the training that's fine but just uh, the if, if you click the the like button that can help us to reach more people and make these videos you know spread the word and things like that so for now that's it thank you very much and I will see you in our next chapter bye bye for now